First on for some Spotsylvania parents are expressing anger this evening and surprise over a new requirement that they answer a question about sexually explicit books in order to access online school information. The way the question is phrased is only adding to their outrage. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey looks at why some parents think the question is really designed to prop up continued efforts to ban books there. I logged into Parent View. Parent and former Spotsylvania teacher Maria Garcia was logging on to Parent View Wednesday night to finish online registration for her kids when she suddenly hit a wall, forced to answer one of two questions. Yes, I want my child to have access to sexually explicit content in the school libraries, or no, I do not want my child to have access to sexually explicit content in the school libraries. I was immediately angry. Um, because because we've had these issues with book bans in, in my county. Here's how Garcia's high schoolers reacted when they got a look. They said, so what are you supposed to say? Because if you say yes, it's going to make you have to seem like you're a bad parent. And if you say no, then there's going to be like, oh, well, so this is why we're doing the book bans. Garcia is also angry because if parents don't answer yes or no, they're blocked from Parent View, the main communication tool to access everything from bus schedules to a child's grades. The Spotsylvania School District made national headlines in late 2021 when several conservative board members suggested banning, even burning, certain school library books, most with LGBTQ themes. Since then, more than a dozen books have been pulled from the shelves. School officials say Superintendent Mark Taylor was unavailable for an interview today, but he sent messages to parents explaining why the questions are being asked, writing in part, with nearly 400,000 volumes in our school libraries, we want to be vigilant about protecting the wishes of all SCPS parents, adding, your decisions will help guide policy and ensure we respect your concerns and preferences. He writes that the library's online book checkout system will track the students whose parents have denied access to books with sexually explicit content. But there's no list of books for parents to see. Garcia is gathering signatures on a change.org petition. I'm hoping that they that they will remove this question. Um, if they I think that if they really wanted to, they can make this question optional. School board members in the minority also opposing the question requirement. Nicole Cole sending this letter to the superintendent demanding he remove the requirement along with a cease and desist letter. Student information should not be held hostage because they have to answer that question in the way that they have posed it. Maria Garcia tells me she's not going to answer the question. She and board member Cole say there is a possible workaround. Parents can use student view to access information if their kids will share their password. Reporting for News 4, I'm Julie Carey. Now, board member Cole also suggests it could be illegal to block parents from accessing their students' records.